Hello everyone and welcome to another super science video of the Mastodon Regional Library. I'm Ms. Stephanie, one of the librarians in the UC Youth Services Department here, and today we're going to be doing an experiment with a simple machine, the pulley. And here's a picture of the pulley. And these are simple machines that help make work easier for us. And they combine a rope and a wheel and axis to lift large objects like this weight here. And what happens is the rope is in the groove, it's wrapped right around this groove, and then it you pull on it and it lifts things. Now, somewhere, a very important thing that uses the pulley are elevators. And you may like, oh, oh, an elevator, I just go in, I go up or down. But actually there's a lot of pulleys behind it that make the elevator go up and down. And I thought for today, this month's experiment, we would do an elevator challenge. Like, you guys are gonna make an elevator that will lift a small object. And so to do that, um, I have the materials what I used to make it, and there's only a few rules for this, and I'll have it up in a slide too, but you have to have at least one pulley in your elevator. The tabletop must be at least two feet from the ground, and your elevator must lift a small toy or object. And so what I used to make mine, I used a few things. First, I would recommend like drawing out your idea on a with a paper and pencil or pen. I use some sharp scissors. Always have an adult with you for these. I use some cardboard off a cereal box, Elmer's glue, some toilet paper rolls, plastic cups, two types of straws, a skinny one and a larger one. Um, my object was a dinosaur. I use some marbles, as you'll see in a few minutes. Uh, I use some small tape or you can use duct tape or masking tape. Both of these are pretty strong. I use some plastic buttons, a hole puncher, a leftover ribbon spool, a leftover, a couple leftover thread spools, and some yarn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the two that I made, and I'll explain a little bit in detail like how I made them and what I used to make them. And hopefully this will give you ideas for your own elevator. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now before I show you the two elevators that I made with pulleys, I just wanted to show you like a, how it can be a good idea to sketch out your design, just make a list of things you might need for it. It's not a great darling, but um, it helped me kind of just get an idea of like what I wanted to do and where I just wasn't like starting with nothing, but I had like some ideas of what I do. And things did change a little bit for my drawings. So let's, let me show you the one I made with just one pulley. So let's go over here. Now here's the one I made with one pulley and our brave little dinosaur is down there. And so let me just do a close up and show you what I used for this. And let's see, we have, I used two types of straws to make a crank. The smaller straw is in there. I slid it into the big one and I taped it because it was kept coming loose a little bit. I used these two toilet paper rolls, a ribbon spool, and then as you can see, maybe a little hard, but like I taped a piece of yarn really well in that groove, which was in there. And then to, the main problem I had with this pulley was these kept falling over, so I ended up having to duct tape them to the table. And then what I did was I, oh, my little dinosaur fell over. Let's get him up. Okay, I fixed the dinosaur. So let's get, let me, I'm gonna put this tripod down, back up a little, and I'm gonna come over and show you how this works. So what I do is I have my crank right here and I'm gonna turn it towards th that wall over there. And so I'm turning it. Oh, and the yarn is going over, the pulley is working. And as you can see, our brave little dinosaur is coming up, up, up. And he made it to the top of the table. So yes, that's how that one works. Now let me show you how I, I used two, two pulleys for the next one. So this one's a little more challenging, but it still worked really well. All right, so now the two pulley elevator was a little more challenging to make, and I had a few more problems with this. So it took maybe about three or four tries to get it just right. So as you can see, this there's 
two pulleys. They're identical. I use some, um, I make jewelry and I had some leftover spools from the beading thread. And so I taped one to this piece of cardboard. I folded a piece of cereal cardboard in half and then I s took a straw through it and the first problem I had was trying to get it to stay and I finally used some duct tape and then it kept sliding off here. So what I did, I used a hot glue gun but you could probably use Elmer's as well. You just have to let it dry overnight and so that it would not fall off. And so then the next problem I had is this kept falling off the table whenever I tried to use the pulley. So I put some marbles in there to weigh it down. And as you can see, I did the same thing for the bottom. Now I realized um, my dinosaur doesn't fit in this cup. So what I did instead is I put some marbles in and I got this idea from the flagpole video I did. And what I did was I threaded a small piece of straw. I taped it to the cup and threaded the through the yarn and I made sure that the yarn was really tight so it goes around and what I'm going to do like the flag poles I'm going to pull on this thread and it's going to lift it up so let me back up so you guys can see it a little better in action let me make sure I've got all of it in the frame there we go perfect okay so I'm going to come over and as you can see I'm going to pull this down slowly but carefully and for some reason, it's being a little difficult. Okay, so I had a small problem with the film, um, the camera. So, all right, so I'm gonna pull this down. And as you can see, it's slowly letting those marbles come to the top. And there we go, this elevator works as well. So I hope you guys can find some other ways, some things around your house to do it. Just remember, you got to have those pulleys. It's got to be at least two feet tall, and it's got to have be able to carry up a small object like the marble or the dinosaur in the last one. So good luck and be very creative. Alright, I hope you guys really enjoyed that elevator challenge. I hope you were really creative and thinking about using different things around your home to make it out elevator so that you could lift a small toy up. And I just have a couple books that I found when I was making this video. Now, you guys may have heard of Charlie and Chocolate Factory, wonderful book about Charlie Bucket who finds a ticket and he gets to go to a chocolate factory of Willy Wonka. And, but did you know there's a sequel? And this sequel is Charlie and the Great Gra Glass Elevator, which I thought would be a very appropriate book for this video. And it's another great adventure where Willy Wonka, Charlie Bucket, his parents, and on um, both sets of grandparents go up in the Great Glass Elevator into space. And they have so many adventures. They find a space station and they have to fight the vermicious canids. So, and of course there's Oompa Loompas in here as well. So if you want to know about more about Charlie's Bucket's other adventures, I highly recommend this book. And then a book that I used that was great for making this video and gave me some good ideas of how to make my own elevators is how to be an engineer. And what I like about this is it gives you some experience, but it also gives you some ideas or options of how you can do your own creative touches on making the challenges work in here. And I just wanted to highlight two of them if you real quick. And this one was the main one that inspired one of my pulleys, the lifting weights. And as you can see that um, there's marble, they used marbles instead of a toy, but it was really helpful. Big, great pictures, easy instructions, but they do give some suggestions about how you could change it, make it a little more um, challenging and so on. And then the other one that I thought was really cool, I did a variation of this in the other video, but it was making a roller coaster. I made mine out of like toilet paper tubes, but um, the this one is made out of straws and it looks, really fun and I think it actually would be a little easier than the one I made but yeah there's like so many good experiments it explains the science behind them and it's just like nice because there's like different experiments or things you can do at different level like some are easier some are harder so you can just pick and choose about what works best for you well thank you for joining me for another super science video I look forward to sharing more of you soon have a good day goodbye